And with a continuing shelter in place order in place, people having a hard time getting just basic necessities right now. A lot of stores following orders and remaining closed. In the meantime, Marshall Keeley shows us one Mater's very grateful gesture to police after her father escaped the bowling alley shooting Wednesday night. As a manhunt continues in their backyard, folks in Lisbon Falls flock to the only open grocery store in the area to stock up on necessities. There you are. Have a good day. You need a bag. Long lines stretch down the aisles at Food City on Lisbon Street. The store reopened to customers this morning allowing hundreds to restock their pantries during a shelter in place order. CC Amberly says she's grateful the store opened and anticipated the rush. I was on the community page and it sounded like everybody was going to try and pop down and just grab the essentials. Seems to be like they are um, really gathering what they would need for a couple days because at this point we're just unsure. Food City Assistant Manager Natasha Lavoy says shoppers are carrying heavy hearts. It's really taken a hit and a toll on our community and you can just see it on the people's faces as they're waiting in line, as they're talking to each other. Everybody's very devastated. We've not been directly impacted, um, but we know people that have. That's been hard, <laughs> you know, hearing the stories. As we were interviewing customers, we saw two South Portland police officers carrying sandwiches and water. Durham resident Abigail Martin saw them too. When we saw the police officers and all that they've been doing for everybody here, I just, I wanted to thank them in my own way. In a gesture of kindness, Martin paid for the officer's food. She says her father was inside just in time recreation during the shooting Wednesday night and managed to escape. He might not have ever made it out, but police helped him so he could be there for the rest of our family. Food City officials tell me the closures on Lisbon Street have prevented some of the deliveries to the grocery store, but they expect to be able to restock their shelves tomorrow morning. Food City is closing early today so employees can get home before dark as the search for a wanted killer continues. In Lisbon Falls, I'm Marshall Keeley, New Center, Maine. I think we're going to see a lot more of those kinds of gestures in the coming days. Now, based on the timeline of events from police, they say Robert Card moved very quickly from that first scene at spare time to the second scene, which is a very popular pool hall in the city. That's where they say Card killed eight more people. And we're going to learn a little bit more about that, hopefully from a press conference we will head to right now at Lewiston City Hall.